Hello everybody, John Bishop here. Uh, I just want to go over the new features in the Socialize plugin by going over some of the uh, new settings areas. So uh, this is the new main settings page and basically it's where you'll input your bit.ly settings and your open graph settings. Uh, bit.ly is just a URL shortener, uh, really great for posting to Twitter um, and specifically great because it allows you to track uh, how, how links got shared through bit.ly on Twitter. Um, and then the open graph basically gives you, uh, it gives websites like Facebook extra information about your site, like which image to use and what description to use. And it even goes as far as uh, you could add latitude and longitude and stuff like that. But here we allow you to input your app ID, admin ID, or page ID so you can associate your site with a Facebook page and use Facebook Insights to get all this data. Next, we have the display settings. Basically, I want to give people more control over placement and uh, the design, basically the look and feel of the call to action area. So, uh, some new options here. I added the option to display horizontal versus vertically. Um, and uh, also added custom post uh, integration. So, basically, it detects all your custom post types and it'll display them right here. You can choose whether or not to display the buttons on the custom post types. Uh, in the call to action box area, you used to be able to change the color but now you, of, the, of the background. Now you can change the background or, or the change the border color as well, uh, as well as the style and the size of the border. And down here we have something new. This is basically the call to action box template. Uh, basically, what's going to allow you to do is create uh, a unique template for your site that integrates. Um, eventually, I want to do thing like, things like author bios and call to actions and stuff, but for now, I'm integrating some uh, basic button types, so different like compact buttons and stuff like that. And I've also included the option to completely disable the socialized style shield altogether, so you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, um, and if you look at the at style sheet included with the plugin, it's really, really well laid out and it's easy to uh, customize yourself if you want. And then the last settings area is the button settings. Uh, this is basically where you set your um, default button display settings, and you'll notice something new in this. In both the uh, uh, when you're editing pa posts or uh, pages, you can now drag and drop the buttons and dis display them however you want to. Um, so I thought that was a nice little new feature. And if we go down, you'll notice for each button. I've included every single possible uh, way you can customize that button. I tried to build it in here for you guys so it's easy uh, just by selecting drop, drop down boxes and stuff like that. So if anything else gets added or if I find anything else, I'll try to get it in here as fast as possible. Uh, but for now, this should give you uh, complete control over all the buttons that you'd want to display and where you want to display them and in what order. Uh, so I hope you guys like the new features and. Um, hoping to pump out some new features really soon, so keep an eye out for that too.